so lately i've literally had no reservations when it comes to taking care of myself and i'm really loving that for me like whenever my mind just give me the hints that you need you need to get this stuff i would literally walk out there and get it for myself even if it's the last money on my account i feel the kind of self-love that is being romanticized out there is the type where you have to do your skincare you have to do self-care take care of yourself which is a form of self-love but today we are going to be unlocking a whole new type of self-love before we unlock that i think i need to correct a particular orientation that people have about themselves a lot of girls think it's a crime or it's so bad if they use their own money to take themselves out a lot of girls say things like i'm too beautiful to spend my own money no honey you are too beautiful not to love yourself enough to spoil yourself waiting for someone to spoil you and i'm not saying that you should deal with a man that cannot provide for you i'm just trying to let you know that until you've unlocked that bitch self-love era of your life you are just wasting your time a lot of ladies usually write paragraphs open paragraphs telling a guy how to treat them i want princess treatment i want flowers i want this i want that girl until you've learned to unlock the bitch self-love era of your life you are literally just wasting your time welcome back to my youtube channel it's still your baby girl you need we're back with another juicy episode talking about self-love and in this channel we'll talk about productivity our lifestyle how to become the best version of ourselves and literally everything good but if this is something that interests you don't forget to hit the subscribe button to support your girl i'm still on a journey to hit my first 1k subscriber count guys and it's taking like forever please at any point in time you found this video very helpful don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also give your girl a thumbs up it actually helps to keep encouraging me to make more interesting videos like this one so without wasting any more time let's jump straight into the video today we're going to be unlocking a whole new dimension of self-love we're going to start from the top guys let us define self-love so that we can take it gradually we're going to dive into self-love bit by bit now i have in my notepad a definition of self-love so let me just read it to you guys now self-love is the cornerstone of personal well-being and happiness it involves treating yourself with kindness compassion and acceptance regardless of your flaws or imperfections now guys the main essence of self-love or the main self-love type that everyone should have is a self-love that you accept yourself the way you are your flaws your imperfections and you show yourself compassion so you can literally buy yourself all of the gifts in the world you can have the best skin your skincare routine and literally everything but i'm here to tell you that until you've learned to show yourself compassion you've learned to accept your flaws and imperfection you are literally just wasting your time self-love goes way beyond buying yourself materialistic stuff now the truth is self-love is literally forgiving yourself for your past mistake and your past trauma letting yourself have peace and loving yourself irrespective of your past mistake self-love is literally loving your stretch marks loving your big eyes your big nose your big lips your small butt your small boobs that is literally self-love that is the kind of self-love we're going to be unlocking and we're going to talk about other type of self-love but today we are literally going to be dwelling more on the self-love that has to do with you showing yourself compassion because i feel a lot of people do not really show themselves compassion enough like you've not learned to show yourself compassion you've not learned to accept yourself love yourself your flaws and then you're buying yourself gifts like literally why are you buying yourself gifts you've not really embraced the whole essence of your being where you've loved yourself to a point that like nobody can tell you nothing you love yourself enough that you can literally go to the heaven and earth for yourself you can climb mountains and go to valleys for yourself because you've loved yourself you've accepted yourself the way you are you've literally accepted your imperfections and your fault and you know that i will love myself irrespective of my mistake or regardless of my past traumas you have to nurture a positive relationship with yourself like embracing your strength and your weakness before then you can now start prioritizing self-care that is where self-love begins the embracing your strength and your weakness now guys apart from me buying myself nice stuff like having literally no reservations for myself i think my second best self-love has been to show myself compassion loving myself has literally changed my mindset guys it changed 
how I see myself, places I go to, people I talk to, how I relate to people, how I see people, how I set boundaries, and even how I celebrate my big wins or my very small wins, guys. Early this year, when I was writing my goals and plans for this year, I told myself that for every single month of this year, I'm going to take myself on a solo date. I did that January, but I wasn't chance to do that February. But the whole essence of everything is the fact that you have to come to a point in your life where you literally have no reservations when it comes to yourself like you can literally go out there and give yourself the best like do whatever you love like whatever comes to your mind that you know is good for you you have to go out there and get it that solo date was literally to remind myself who i am to myself the love of my life you need to intentionally learn to understand that irrespective of your past mistakes you are still the love of your life you have to show compassion to yourself like that is the most important way to show love to yourself i feel like a lot of people are literally just in the season of their life where they just feel like until they have the one billion dollars in their account they are not worthy of certain things now you can literally show compassion to yourself in the smallest way the way you talk to yourself how you treat yourself you need to have no reservations when it comes to yourself that's something i had to learn if the only thing you got from this video is the fact that you have to show compassion to yourself as a form of self-love i am literally content because that is the level of self-love i want each and every one of us to unlock this year if you don't have a self-love goal that is literally one you should go and write on your journal it is very very important speak to yourself calmly irrespective of your mistakes irrespective of whatever you're going through do not beat yourself up over past mistakes let bygones be bygones like show compassion to yourself enough to intentionally take yourself out and spoil yourself the way you want to without feeling any guilt take out time from your busy schedule to take yourself out have a self-love day a day you write on your journal about things you love about yourself now this is your sign to actually get a gratitude journal have a journal where you literally write things you love about yourself like have a day to celebrate yourself you don't have to be a global entity before you start intentionally celebrating yourself have a day maybe your name is favor have favors day a day that you say yes to yourself like literally anything you want then you can literally do the best of things that you really love save towards it i think we can't talk about self-love without talking about our finances now i know a lot of people watching this video will be like i don't have the money to take care of myself i don't have the money to spoil myself i don't have the money to show compassion to myself i don't have the money to really love myself the way i want to now i want to change your orientation when it comes to self-love and finances the truth is sometimes Self-love is not that you need one billionaire or you have the luxury of everything before you love yourself and spoil yourself. I usually save up to give myself some of those solo dates. That is where intentionality comes in. I want to get intentional about loving myself. You have to save up. You have to save up to go out for those particular trips. Save up to take yourself out shopping save up to take yourself on solo dates it is the intentionality that comes with it that make people tell you i love myself enough to give myself this thing it's not like they have all the luxury of everything they want to get intentional about loving themselves so they save up for those particular stuff <sighs> so we've been talking for quite a while and all my throat is literally so dry now so i think it's time we have a tea break
guys welcome back we're still talking we've talked about the part of self-love that has to do with showing yourself compassion forgiving yourself your past mistake your past trauma then we also talked about the part of self-love that has to do with you taking yourself out on solo days like get intentional about taking yourself out getting that exposure buying yourself nice gifts sharing yourself with love and whatever you need and we also talked about the part of our finances where sometimes you have to get intentional about it so it's no excuse for you saying i don't have money to do this or i don't have money to do that you can literally save up for it now we're going to talk about the part of self-love that has to do with our self-esteem self-love and self-esteem are so intertwined because they work together but i just want us to dive deeper into self-love in relation to self-esteem now i'm gonna define self-esteem for us for my notepad now i have on my notepad here written a definition of self-esteem now self-esteem refers to the subjective evaluation of one's worth or value it involves how you perceive yourself your abilities and your place in the world now literally how do you perceive yourself how do you see yourself basically how do you place yourself in the world are you a backbencher that is literally the question we cannot talk about self-love and not talk about self-esteem because without self-esteem you cannot love yourself now a healthy self-esteem has to do with how you perceive yourself having a positive view of yourself and having confidence in yourself and also how you cope with life challenges like whatever life throws at you you are still there you are still strong you are still having a positive view of yourself you are not downgrading yourself now in contrast to self-love where we define self-love as having compassion for yourself accepting yourself irrespective of your flaws and your imperfections and when we compare self-love and self-esteem we can literally see that without self-esteem you cannot love yourself like you cannot practice self-love now when someone has a healthy self-esteem they are more likely to practice self-love because they feel like they deserve it your mind has shifted to the point where you understand that you deserve the best things of life you deserve that comfortable life you deserve the luxury cars like their mindsets have literally shifted from seeing themselves small to understanding that i love myself i am worth every single effort and it also affects how people treat you how people love you basically because until you've learned to give yourself the life you deserve the life you expect people to give to you when you request certain things from people they'll be like you haven't given yourself this kind of lifestyle or you haven't loved yourself enough and you're asking me to love you like that so this is just to let you know that self-esteem is a must when it comes to self-love like you have to increase your self-esteem you have to see yourself big you have to know that you are worth every single effort you are worth the finest things of life self-esteem oftentimes is not about being proud or rude or looking down on people self-esteem is literally challenging negative thoughts not letting any form of doubt come into your life like you are literally so positive about everything you are putting in your best and you carry yourself like a queen self-esteem is literally not waiting for big events before you wear your nice clothes like literally every day is a day to celebrate yourself so you are looking pretty your self-esteem in relation to self-love involves you walking into that event and sitting in the front seat like you are a guest like no more sitting in the back seat because why not you are a queen a queen will never sit in the back seat so why are you going to sit in the back seat like you actually have to shift your mindset to raising your self-esteem which will also in turn raise your self-love like you have to love yourself enough to know that no i am a queen i have to sit in the front seat like intentionally learn to resist the urge that makes you want to sit in the back seat when you go to events no show yourself like some people will be like i don't want to look like i'm showing myself like if you don't show yourself then who are you supposed to show off take yourself elegantly to the front seat don't wait for special events to look good like every day is a day to celebrate yourself so look good spend on yourself so guys the last type of self-love i really wanted to talk about is the type of self-love where you don't let people talk shit to you like i feel like a lot of people need to get familiar with the block features on their social media pages like don't let people come to your dms and say rubbish to you like don't let people speak ill of your personality block delete block delete very very important like when it comes to self-love it has to do with securing your peace and oftentimes you cannot secure your peace when you get side talks apart from the fact that you can grow your mindset to not giving a damn about what people say about you i think you have to unlock the beach self-love area of your life where you have to go toe to toe with people sometimes like delete them 
block them like literally let them know that your actions will not be acceptable like this displeasing action would not be acceptable by me and i'm not pleased so you are leaving my circle don't let people talk shit to you guys end friendships end relationships that is not securing your peace intentionally learn to love yourself to the point where you no longer take shit from nobody like, people need to understand that you are not the kind of person that they can toy with that the kind of person that they can say shit about the kind of person that they can talk ill of their personality you need to unlock the bitch self-love era of your life where you can walk up to people tell them how you feel unapologetically tell them that you are not going to deal with your shit that is the kind of self-love you need to start unlocking from today like that is literally the kind of self-love we need in 2024 if you are dealing with relationship that is toxic that they are hitting you and mistreating you you are dealing with friendship that they are talking behind your back like they talk ill of you like, what are you literally doing there like you are literally demeaning yourself it helps up the man that you learn to put people in their place don't let people toy with your peace guys don't let people cross their boundaries keep them where they are supposed to be don't let them talk to you like shit. so guys that's literally it for this video i really needed to put this out there and i hope someone actually have learned a whole lot today thank you so much for watching my video if you still haven't subscribed please do well to hit the subscribe button if you found the video helpful give me a thumbs up also share your thoughts with me in the comment section i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye